The graph GRT is a decentralized and open source indexing protocol for blockchain data. Developers can build and publish various APIs called subgraphs that perform queries over the GraphQL. I'll explain what a GraphQL is good for later. The platform can be used to search for any Ethereum data through simple queries. This addresses the common problem that many other blockchain indexing platforms have. Blockchain applications struggle to adhere to properties such as finality, chain reorganization, and query fulfillment security. The graph aims to remedy this and other problems. Through subgraphs, the graph indexes blockchain data that users can access through the GraphQL API. According to the team, they will fully decentralize it in the future. More nodes will be involved and made responsible for maintaining the index. Interest in the platform continues to grow. In fact, they reached over 1 billion queries last June in 2020. That was right around the time that decentralized finance was also gaining a lot of institutional attention. Yaniv Tal, co-founder and CEO of The Graph, worked with his team to develop an indexing protocol to make blockchain data easier to access. Tal and his co-founders had experienced firsthand how difficult it was to create new Ethereum blockchain applications. Thanks to their experience with applications, they found out that there was actually no decentralized indexing and querying software for blockchain yet. At that time, developers had to find their own method to collect and transform data from different sources. The mission of the platform Tal and his team developed is to create applications that don't require servers and make Web3 accessible to everyone. To index Ethereum-based data, the graph uses the subgraph manifesto. This refers to the description of a subgraph that contains data about smart contracts, blockchain events, and the process of mapping event data together before it's all stored in the platform's database. The flow of data from transactions, subgraph manifests, and the database follows a certain structure. It all starts with decentralized applications that add to the Ethereum blockchain using smart contracts. All this data contains a record of all events and transactions up to the point where they reach finality. Then comes the graph node which scans the entire blockchain database, collects new data, and filters out those relevant to user queries. To facilitate indexing, it identifies each piece of information that answers the queries from subgraphs. GraphQL is the link between the blockchain data and the application a user wants to feed it to. Finally, after the whole process, users can view their query results from within their applications. Basically, this is how the cycle of data query and indexing works in the platform. Users can refer to Graph Explorer to browse the subgraphs that already exist in the platform. Each of these subgraphs has a playground where users can perform queries using GraphQL. Recently, the graph has supported the indexing of data originating from Ethereum, IPFS, and POA networks. There are more networks that the platform will support in the future. Currently, more than 2300 subgraphs have already been deployed, and developers are using them for applications. Some of these applications include AAVE, Aragon, Balancer, DAOStack, Uniswap, Synthetix, and many others. There's a lot of institutional support for the Graphs network. Michael Anderson of Framework Ventures said in a press release that they couldn't be happier to support Yaniv and the team. According to his statement, they look forward to helping the decentralized network and its growth. The Graph's long-term plan, in addition to expanding to other blockchains soon, is to transfer ownership and management of the platform to the community. This is also in response to the shift of many blockchain applications to a decentralized model of governance. The overall ecosystem of the platform is composed of the following individuals. Consumers. These are the users who pay indexers for their searches. They can also be web services or any other software connected to the Graph. The indexers. These are the nodes that maintain the indexing function of the platform. Curators. Using GRTs, curators identify for subgraphs the valuable information to the platform's index. Delegator. These are the other stakers who delegate their GRT to existing indexers and earn a portion of the rewards. Fishermen. They verify that the network's response to queries is correct. And finally, the arbitrators. They decide whether an indexer is malicious or not. The graph plans to decentralize its management in the future. This will most likely be similar to Maker DAO and Compound. Once the protocol is ripe for it, the team plans to create a decentralized autonomous organization, which is what DAO stands for. 
to allow core stakeholders to participate in key protocol decisions. Like other DAOs, the Graph Council, which will be the governing body for the technical parameters of the protocol, will also be responsible for how the Graph Foundation allocates its native utility tokens, or GRT. Its basic functions include grant and ecosystem funding allocation decisions, protocol upgrades, protocol parameters, and other emergency decisions. The Graph token, or GRT, is its native ERC-20-based token that can serve as a medium of exchange and a reward for community participants who act as indexers, curators, and delegators. For users to acquire shares in the nodes that run the entire platform and sell their services on the query market, they must stake their GRT. In return, they receive financial rewards. If the indexers are malicious and, for example, intentionally alter the data, they will be punished dearly in the form of having their stake GRT tokens taken away. What's next in the Graph's roadmap? Now that the mainnet has launched, the Graph continues to build. The team has stated that the Graph Foundation will build a production-ready Graph Explorer, DApp, and Gateway, which should give all supporters of the network the right help at their fingertips. The Graph is also open to any individuals or third parties who want to help build the network. As mentioned earlier, anyone can apply for the grants program or collaborate with other community members. Looking at the current boom of the DeFi space, we can see how important it is for developers to access blockchain data freely. Making the process faster and less difficult for everyone could impact the growth of the entire scene and its reliability, security, and capacity. Everyone saw the need to create an information bridge between applications and blockchain data. The graph offers a potential answer to this with the use of smart contracts that rely on user data. The graph has proven to be easy to use, cost-effective, and fast. The platform is seen as a promising tool, especially for those who want to develop more use cases for the blockchain. To conclude, the Graph GRT seeks to facilitate the seamless exchange between blockchains and applications. The platform is among the first decentralized indexing and querying software available in the market. As such, it continues to see growing adoption. Impressively, the network has already hit well over a billion queries since its launch in 2020. The Graph offers developers an easy-to-use, cost-efficient, and secure API. This network allows decentralized applications to add data to the Ethereum blockchain utilizing smart contracts. Graph's API are in use by some of the most popular DeFi platforms in the market, specifically AAVE, Aragon, Balancer, DAOStack, and Synthetix leverage this technology to improve data responsiveness. Two years ago, you needed to be technically inclined to build a dApp that relies on accessing data from the Ethereum blockchain in an efficient way. Back then, developers had to come up with their own strategy to gather data and transform it from different sources. Recognizing this technical barrier, Graph developed a powerful toolset to help drive innovation and simplify this once complicated process. Their primary concerns were to accomplish this task without degrading security. The recent expansion of the DeFi sector has expanded Ethereum's market position yet again. Ethereum is by far the most popular DeFi blockchain, with hundreds of platforms launching since 2020. As such, Graph is positioned perfectly to help fuel this development. There are a lot of benefits gained from Graph's approach. Notably, the network is capable of indexing data coming from Ethereum, IPFS, and POA networks. In this way, Graph eliminates the technical barriers to querying. The graph basically employs a combination of blockchain tech and advanced indexing protocols to improve querying blockchain data. Specifically, it relies on GraphQL to provide a complete description of the data in each API. Anyone can use the Graph Explorer portal to scan through the subgraphs on the platform. So is the graph a great investment? While not all crypto investments are made equally, and the risk to reward ratio is always important to consider. Lower risk tolerant individuals should opt for Bitcoin and Ethereum and consider smaller positions in altcoins such as GRT. If you believe the future of the financial system is decentralized, then you might see the graph as the next Google search engine. If you were given the chance today to purchase Google stock just a few months after its IPO, you would be a fool to turn it down. The graph crypto coin may not be the next Google, but the decentralized finance industry appears to be in a similar stage to where the internet startup industry was just a decade ago. Just like all speculative investments, you should never risk more than you are willing to lose. Never speculate on credit, and be sure to do your own research before spending your hard-earned money.